Hello everyone and welcome to STM32 microcontroller tutorials. To start with the STM32 microcontrollers, you first need to install an appropriate software development environment. In this first tutorial, we explain how to install and run a development platform for STM32 microcontrollers and microprocessors called STM32 Cube IDE. For those of you who are new to computer engineering or computer science, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and you will often see this abbreviation in your professional life. STM32Cube IDE is an advanced C and C++ development platform with code compilation, debugging, peripheral configuration, and code generation. It is arguably one of the most popular IDEs for STM32 microcontrollers. To install Cube IDE, first go to this website or search in Google Cube IDE. Then scroll down and find this section, Get Software. Over here, you need to locate the proper installation file. In my case, I'm using a Windows operating system and consequently I need to download the Windows installer. And click on Get Latest. Accept License Agreement. And over here you have two options. The first option is to register your account and then you can automatically download the software. Another option is just to provide your first name, last name, email address and you can simply click on download. I will use the second option. After that, you will get this message saying to validate your email and start the download, please click on the link inside the email that has been sent to you. That is, you will receive an email and you need to click on the link in order to register and to start the download process. After the download process is completed in your download folder or wherever you downloaded the file, you will see this file. It's a zip file and you need to extract it. To do that, do the right click and over here click on Extract All and click on OK. And then, after some time, you can open this file by double-clicking and the installation process will start. This is the first window. Click on Next. Then you need to accept the license agreement. Then you need to continue. You need to select the folder. For example, you can use the default folder. Click on Next. You can select both of these components and click on install. And click on install again. After several minutes you will see this window and click on next. I usually don't like to create a desktop shortcut and click on finish. And that's it. Now let's run the program. Click on start and you will see STM32 Cube IDE over here. However, if you don't see it, you can simply search for it. STM32 and you will see the app. Open the program. Here it is. Then you need to select your directory as workspace. I usually like to keep the default settings and click on launch. Click allow access. Here's the manual. It automatically starts. However, go back to the app. Click on OK. And then open the main window. And here it is. In the next video tutorial, we will learn how to write a Hello World example. However, here, just for completeness, you can start a new project by clicking over here. Then it will take some time to create a new project. 
and you will see this window. We will explain this window in our next tutorial. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.